the most overpowered class in Black Ops 4. This gun shouldn't even exist. This class shouldn't even exist. And they really got to nerf it again. They've already nerfed it. And that is the Damon 3 XP. This thing is literally insane. You guys got to use this class right here. It's overpowered. You can melt people even at distance. Even though they nerfed the distance on this, you can still melt people. And it's just, it's crazy. It beats almost every single gun up close. You guys got to use this class right here. What is up guys, my name is Nick and welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video. Today we're going to be looking at the overpowered Damon 3 XB. This class right here, I'm telling you guys, it's absolutely crazy. They nerfed the Damon the other day, they nerfed the distance on it, but that doesn't even matter. It's, it's just insane, like the way you draw people with this class, you're going to be melting people like no matter what, no matter what gun they use, you're just going to melt the hell out of them. It's not even going to feel like it's fair, it's going to feel like you're cheating and uh, I have to say I love this gun just for that. So uh, if you guys want make sure to leave a like on this video so that a spider doesn't crawl on your bed tonight and chew your eyeball apart you don't want that you guys you really don't want that so make sure to leave a like on the video and for those of you guys who don't realize i'm just being satire right now come on now guys before we get into the overpowered class i just want you to leave a comment down below telling me what you think of this weapon do you think it should be banned in black ops 4 or do you think it's a great addition do you guys love it do you guys hate it let me know down in the comments below and let me know your kd as well in the game mine i, my, I gotta bring it up dude i always keep saying it it's at like a 1.90 ish i just i gotta bring it up dude let me know what yours is down in the comments below all right guys enjoy the video but anyways let's get straight into the video this is going to be the overpowered class for the Damon 3XB. One of my favorite weapons in Black Ops 4, even though there's some days that I just wanna throw this gun in the garbage, cause I suck with it sometimes. But uh, yeah, no, this, this class, just ban the hell out of this gun, man. We shouldn't be allowed to use it, it's overpowered. All right, getting into the first thing on this class. You guys are probably noticing I'm running the ComSec device, but that's honestly personal preference. I, I just rather have the ComSec device than anything else for this class right here, cause I don't really be dropping people a lot, but the fact is I'm running in to a lot of enemies so i want to make sure that i have my streaks very very fast i want to make sure i get them quickly because i'm running out into the open i'm running into all the enemies and there is a chance that i will die if like all five of them decide to look at me at the same time and just melt me so i want to make sure i get my stuff so i want to make sure i get my streaks going down to the perks unfortunately guys we're running a lot of attachments on this class right here so we're only going to be able to have one perk on this and I have to be completely honest, that's probably the one thing I dislike about this class is the fact that we could only run Dead Silence. I would kind of like to use like Gung Ho and also Scavenger and stuff like that on this class. But then I realized that these attachments are pretty good on this gun. I don't want to play without them and uh, it's just something I'm going to have to do. So what I do instead is I run Crash. This way I could pick up ammo and stuff like that and not have to worry about it, but it is, it, it kind of sucks without it. But we're going to go on to the attachments, guys. The first one is going to be Elo Sight, just so it can make it a little bit easier for you guys to aim at the enemies now if you want to have another perk on and you feel like you're good with the iron sight on this weapon go ahead and take elo sight off i have to say it's not bad whatsoever to use the iron sight on this weapon it's actually pretty good it's a pretty nice one but i like having elo sight better just because i feel like i'm more on target when i have that on now going to the actual attachments of this weapon we're gonna have high caliber one and high caliber too. The reason for this is because, yo, you want to hit those chest shots. You want to get these people dropped as fast as possible. And trust me, this thing is insane. You could drop people in like two bursts, which is already bursting really fast. The, the bullets already come out faster than like any weapon I could think of besides a Spitfire. And it, it's insane. So go ahead and throw high caliber one and two. Now there are two attachments on this weapon that I think are completely useless. And I would never recommend you guys throwing onto this. And one of them is going to be steady grip. So you guys know grip usually helps when you aim down sights but steady grip only helps when you guys are actually not aiming down sights so the second you aim out sights it's like you have no grip whatsoever so the amount of times you guys aren't going to be aiming down sights when shooting this weapon is very very low so i, I recommend not throwing on steady grip it's not going to help at all it might help you get one kill a game so just it, it, that like math it doesn't balance out man it's not worth it don't use it whatsoever and another one that's useless on this class is fast mics because there's just no point in it when you have hybrid mics 
And I always tell you guys this. It might reload very slightly faster. But hybrid mags makes it where you guys can reload faster. And you could also have more bullets in your magazine. Which is so much more, so much better than just having fast mags. Or having extended mags or something like that. So those two per, uh, attachments I should say. I don't recommend ever using them. Steady grip and fast mags. Don't put it on your class if you do have this class. And the last attachment you guys should definitely be running on this one is rapid fire this is going to make it so that these bursts come out so fast it doesn't even feel like it's a burst weapon the only fact is you're going to be hitting the trigger a lot you're going to be pressing it a lot and that's the only reason why it feels like it's actually a burst weapon now i do want to say the fact that the burst weapons are in games like this i kind of like some of them suck i'll be honest but it also helps you guys move your finger a lot keeps you guys always active it keeps you guys pressing that trigger and all that kind of stuff which is good and it gives you guys practice for when people are at long distances and you're using the maddox so let's say you gotta tap that tr that trigger and let's see who has a faster trigger finger probably the people who run around with a lot of burst weapons let's be quite honest so guys this is going to be the class right here on screen again i'll go through it super quickly we got the comsec device dead silence elo high cal 1 high cal 2 hybrid mags and rapid fire i was running steady grip on this class i didn't read it i i just saw the picture of grip so i threw it on and then i realized dude this isn't grip this, this is steady grip what am i doing and then i went back i looked at the actual attachment and yeah it was steady grip there's, there's no point don't run that fast mags don't run that and uh, yeah this is going to be the class guys use it i'm telling you right now if you get good with this gun it does suck to use at first you might be really bad with it at first but the second you get good with this gun you're going to be dropping people at all sorts of distances you're going to be dropping every single person in the game and i have to say there's probably maybe one or two guns that will outclass this gun every single time and that's probably the spitfire at really close range even then i have a feeling it's going to be a very close fight and then probably maybe a maddox at medium range or long range or something like that but you're not going to be getting into too many long range gunfights with this don't worry you want to make sure you guys stay in close areas so you guys can just melt the living hell out of people but that's going to be it for today guys this class should definitely not be a thing in black ops 4 i i love the gun this is going to be a gun that i remember for sure but it's just it's way too powerful in my opinion let me know what you think down in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. And remember to leave a like on this video. You guys have been awesome lately. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Nick. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.